Hello, uh, this is Imran Raja performing the head to toe assessment. I'm just going to use this phone and give a quick scan uh, to the room just so you can see a little bit. Okay, uh, this is my brother who I will be conducting the head to toe examination on. And uh, just so you know, this is the documentation, a blank documentation form that I'm going to be using to reference during the examination. Let me just try to place this phone here on a tripod, try to get it nice and stable. I think that should be good. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, good afternoon. My name is Imran. I'm a student nurse at Texas Tech. I'm going to be conducting a head-to-toe examination on you. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right, perfect. So let me just go ahead and close the curtain that we normally would have in these situations. And can I have you go ahead and confirm your name for me? I'm going to wash my hands. Uh, I would normally wash my hands right here in this part. Can I have you uh, confirm your name for me, please? Mario Garcia. Mr. Garcia, perfect. All right, let me uh, just don some gloves. Again, under normal circumstances, I would have washed my hands prior. <clears throat> now, if I could just ask, uh, to borrow your arms, please. Okay, skin is even in coloration. Uh, no lacerations that I can see. Skin is warm and dry to the touch. And no tenting noted. All right, can I see your hands for me, please? Very good. Your nails are clean, adequate hygiene. Um, they have a have a refill of under two seconds equal bilaterally. Can I have you go like this for me, please? All right, no clubbing noted either. Okay, I'm gonna touch your head now. If at any point you feel any pain or any tenderness, just let me know, okay? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so hair is well-groomed and evenly distributed. Uh, no signs of pediculosis, uh, no indentations or protrusions. Do you have any pain? Okay. No tenderness as well. Okay, I'm going to check some things on your face now. Can I have you open and close your mouth? All right, temporal mandibular joint is free from crepitus. May I also have you clench down for me, please? And then once again. Okay, so your temporalis and masseter muscles are both equally strong bilaterally, uh, and your cranial nerve 5 trigeminal is intact. Okay, I'm going to touch some parts of your face now. Let me know, do you feel any pain? No pain. How about now? Uh -uh. No, okay, so your frontal and maxillary sinuses are uh, non-tender. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and I'm gonna use uh, a cotton ball to just touch your face, okay? Say now when you feel something touch you, okay? No, no, no. Okay, so light touch is noted. Cranial nerve five, transdeminal is intact. Can I ask you to just Raise and lower your eyebrows. Okay, can you puff your cheeks like a fish? Okay, smile for me and frown. All right, cranial nerve seven, facial is intact as well. I'm going to assess some parts of your eyes now. Your uh, eyebrows are symmetric and your eyelids are intact. Uh, no redness, no swelling, eyelashes are evenly distributed. I'm going to assess some parts of your eye themselves, okay? So I could ask you the favor of just focusing on a point on that back wall and just keep staring at that point, okay? I'm going to use a light. I'm going to flash it in your eyes, but just keep staring at that point, okay? All right, keep staring at it. Very good. Keep staring at that point. Okay, very good. I'm going to ask you if you could just look at the tip of this pen and just keep looking at it. Look at it, keep staring at it, keep looking at the tip, keep looking at it. Very good. So your pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, and accommodation as well. And before I put this pen away, I'm going to ask you to look at the tip of it, okay? And just follow it using only your eyes, okay? Try to keep your head still. Follow the tip of the pen with just your eyes. Very good. Okay, a little bit more. Perfect. So your cranial nerve three, ocular motor, superior, inferior, inferior oblique, inferior, and uh, medial rectus. Your cranial nerve four, uh, trochlear, um, superior oblique, and your cranial nerve six, uh, abducens, 
lateral uh, rectus are all intact. Okay, so now I'm going to check your ears. Okay, let me just get a look at it. Let me get a look at both sides of your ears. Okay, I'm gonna touch them. Tell me if you feel any pain. You okay? Mm -hmm, no pain. No pain? Okay, so your pinna are non-tender, no discharge, no lesion, no masses noted bilaterally. Now I'm going to do a test on you, and for the purposes of the video, I'm going to ask you to turn that way. Um, and I'm going to whisper some words. I'm just going to ask you to repeat the words that I whisper, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. X, Y, Z. Perfect. So whispered words are heard on both ears. You can go ahead and sit normally like you were right now. <clears throat> now I'm going to check some of the lymph nodes around your neck and head area, okay? If at any point again you feel any tenderness, just say, say so right there, okay? So I'm going to check your preauricular right here, your postauricular, your occipital, your tonsillar, submental, submandibular, Okay, your superficial cervical, your posterior cervical, your deep cervical, and your uh, supraclavicular lymph nodes. Did you feel anything there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all those lymph nodes are non-tender, non-palpable, and non-movable. Okay, and I'm going to ask you for a series of motions that you're going to do with your neck, okay? Uh, first, I'm going to ask you to touch your chin to your neck, just like that. Very good. Now look up towards the ceiling for me, please. Okay, now if you could do me the favor of touching this ear to this shoulder, just like that. All right, very good. Do the other side, please. All right, now if you could turn using just your head and look that way. Okay, now look this way. Perfect. Now you're going to do all that once more, but with a little bit of resistance, okay? So if you could touch your chin to your chest. Look up to the ceiling, please. Touch your ear to your shoulder. Okay, other side. Okay, if you could look towards that wall and look towards this wall. Okay, so your flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and lateral rotation all exhibit full range of motion, uh, passive, and with resistance. Okay, now if you could do me the favor of shrugging your shoulders for me. Once more. Okay, spinal, uh, sorry, cranial nerve 11, spinal accessory is intact. All right, now I am going to just check your abdomen. You could just sit up for me, please. Okay, your anterior... Posterior transverse ratio is one to two. I'm going to touch you right here. You're just going to breathe and let me know if you feel any tenderness, okay? Breathe in. Okay, if you could turn for me that way, please. Again, for the sake of the video. And just breathe in. Any pain? No pain. Okay, so chest expansion is symmetric, non uh, tender to palpation. I'm going to listen to some of your breath sounds, okay? So. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you could just sit back normally like you were before for this part. Just breathe in and breathe out, okay? Again. Again. And again. All right. Now, if you could do me the favor of turning that way. Again, this is for the sake of the video. Normally, I would go to the other side of the bed and do it there. But just so that the video can see. If you turn a little bit more, I'm going to just, again, assess your breath sounds. You can just breathe in when I say a number. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, no, no pain. Okay. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Very good. Vesicular breath sounds are clear in all uh, lung fields, um, equal bilaterally, and uh, no adventitious sounds are heard. You can go ahead and just sit the way you were before. I'm going to check some uh, parts of your heart now, okay? If you could just sit 
Kind of up, please. Okay, no abnormal pulsations are noted. I'm going to be touching some parts of you, okay? Um, let me check first your aortic area, which is in the second intercostal space on the right side. Your pulmonic, which is second intercostal space on the left side. Your herbs point, which is the third intercostal space on the left side. Your tricuspid area, which is fourth to fifth intercostal space uh, in the, in the uh, lower left sternal border on that left side. And this is your mitral area, which is in the fifth intercostal space, uh, midclavicular line on the left side. I'm just going to check and stay here for one moment, checking the PMI. Okay, no heaves and no thrills noted in any of these areas. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to be listening now with my stethoscope, okay? You could just sit up for me, please. Just that way you can face that way. I'm going to do it once more. Okay, so S1 and S2 are heard and not diminished um, throughout. And there is no S3, no S4, no systolic, no diastolic murmurs of any kind that I could hear. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you to go ahead and lay down for me, please. Okay, I'm going to use this blanket to cover the lower part of your abdomen. And under normal circumstances, I would have the gown, which I would use to cover the upper part. And I'm just going to check some parts of your abdomen, okay? If you could put your arm side to side, please, right there. Very good. Okay, so your abdomen is flat, symmetric. Uh, no lesions or scars that I can see. Okay, I'm going to listen to some of the sounds, okay? Okay. Okay, bowel sounds are present in all four quadrants. I'm going to percuss now. Okay, tympani predominance in all four quadrants. I'm going to push a little bit, uh, put a little bit of pressure, okay? Let me know if you feel any pain at any point, okay? Anything? Nothing. Okay, so abdomen is soft, uh, non tender, uh, no mass is noted. Okay, I'm going to lift this, I'm going to check some part of your legs now, okay? Uh, Color is uh, evenly, you, um, even in coloration, skin is even in coloration. Um, warm, it's warm to the touch. No edema present. I'm going to check your tibial pulses. Okay, now your dorsalis pedis pulses. Okay, both your tibial and dorsalis pedis pulses are uh, plus two equal bilaterally. I'm going to check your capillary refill time now, which is under two seconds equal bilaterally. Under normal circumstances, I would change my gloves in this position, in this point of the exam. Now I'm going to ask you once again to close your eyes for me, please, and just let me know, say now, when you feel something. No. 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 Okay, light touch is noted in the arms and in the legs. Okay, thank you very much. If you could sit up for me like you were before. Okay, now I'm going to check your reflexes. I'm going to start with this arm. If you could give me this arm right here and just lay it right there and just let it die. Okay, let it fall completely. Okay, I'm going to check. I'm going to do the same thing with this arm. Just let it die completely. All just let it go. Okay. Now if you could do me the favor of just going like this. 
for me and trying to focus on pulling your arms apart and let your feet hang off. So focus on your arms. Okay. Okay, so your bicep reflexes and your patellar reflexes are both plus two equal bilaterally. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to put your hands on top of your thighs and try to split them as fast as you can. Okay, now if you could do me the favor of touching your finger to your nose using both hands. Okay, rapid arm movement and finger to nose are done smoothly and are intact. Could you stand up for me, please? Okay, now could you face the wall over there? Just put your feet together and hand to your sides and close your eyes for me, please. And just try to keep your balance right there. Try to stay still. I'm going to count to 20. 1, 2, 3, 18, 19, 20 seconds is how long I would normally count to in this test. And there's a negative wrong break test. You're very good. If you could stand over here for me, please. And just walk towards that door uh, with your heel touching your toe. Heel to toe. Okay, very good. Tandem walking is done without losing balance. Now you can just walk normally back to where you were before. Okay, gait is smooth and coordinated. Uh, arms are swinging freely side to side. Okay, now if you could just stand right here in this point. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to let you cover. I'm going to ask you to cover your left eye. And while you do that, if you could do me a favor of just reading this bottom line, starting from the left to right, okay? You could read this line. Okay. D E F P O T E T. Okay. Try switching your eyes now. Switching now. Cover your right eye. And try reading it now from right to left. C C uh, P uh -huh. T O E. RP. Okay, uh, that was close enough. Uh, visual acuity is 2020 on the right and 2020 on the left uh, via the smelling chart. Okay, well, you can go ahead and take a seat once again on the bed. I think that concludes uh, the head to toe assessment. Uh, thank you very much. And okay. uh, the doctor will be with you shortly, okay? Okay. I'm going to take off my gloves now. And I would perform hand hygiene right here and exit the room. Thank you very much.